Hello little internet people, it's me, Dave. <sighs> For those of you who know me, I actually have a degree in media production and there is evidence hidden around my house in various different locations. I'm not too sure how I actually graduated university and the majority of my work was destroyed in the great fire of 2000 and something, leaving me with one piece of evidence that I actually went to university. And it's this short film. Now I've already done one of these videos before, reaction style, but I thought that I'd give it another go as the first one was shit. I want to actually explain to you what this video was all about. So on my big screen in front of me, I've got the film ready to go. If I remember correctly, it was a second year piece of coursework that revolved around picking one of three words. Weightless, something, and something else. It was supposed to be a mixed media piece. So we could choose video, audio, animation, and graphics. I decided to go with animation and live action. Let's not delay anymore. Prepare yourself for some f***ing interesting stuff. So we start off with um, <laughs> the word weightless. That is on a piece of acetate over my flooring. That was the best I could do. I had no budget. This is it. Uh, scribble over the top and, and there's my name with an unhappy face. I think at the time I was unhappy and I was going through some weird shit. Yeah, as you do. So uh, this is my university friend Nick uh, in his little dorm room. Shot in almost complete darkness. And some bad sound effects. Last little close up, you can see he hadn't shaved uh, at that particular moment in my life. I couldn't actually grow facial hair. And I was quite jealous, so I wanted somebody with a beard and a red t shirt. You'll see why in a moment. So Nick goes to sleep, and it comes to a piece of blue. Um, now, I couldn't afford any blue paper at the time, so that was just printed from a laser jet. Uh, it was a nice gradient from blue to sort of white to green. So here's our main character, he's called The Faller. Clearly at this time in my life I was heavily influenced by South Park and paper based animations. Worst thing about this is this is not my first animation. My first animation was done on an old Amiga when I was five or six uh, and it involved an X-Wing chasing a TIE fighter. Have you ever found that the bed's been pulled away from under you? That cloud. Now that's uh, that's a real cloud that is. I don't know if you can tell, or I just got a piece of cotton wool because that's all that was available. Have you ever felt as if there's nothing between you and the ground? When this ground. That's me trying to pronounce the word ground correctly. When this is accompanied by a dream. Uh, and there's a big flying V. Uh, not the guitar. Uh, that's supposed to be a bird. Oh dear. What happens if you hit the ground? Do you see <laughs> That's the worst part of the animation, that is. One of my hairs obviously got trapped underneath uh, the left hand. And trying to manoeuvre the body so it looked like it was falling didn't work, and it just sort of disjointed itself. Not a surprise. Oh, and there's, there's the climax. The body hits the ground. What does something more seems to happen when the subconscious part of your brain... That's the same, the same shot from the start. Just reversed. The metaphorical ground. And he's dead. Now the blood there was produced uh, by tearing up little pieces of red paper and plonking them underneath his head. Um, not part of the video there. That's just, uh, it's just a photograph that I edited to make it look as though he'd fallen out of bed and died. It's quite dark when you think about it. So that was a little animation that I did while I was at university. It's quite possibly the worst thing I ever did. I don't know how I graduated university, if that was the calibre of work that I was producing there and then. Onwards and upwards, hopefully. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Tati bye!